Hello, my darlings, and welcome to another Let's Build Newcrest. Welcome back to part three of Higginbottom House. We are here. We are going to be getting the bases of the ground floor done today. So the mm, formal living area, the kitchen, the diner, the doggy conservatory, you know, all the things that a normal house would have. I mean, what house? in its right mind, would not have a conservatory for dogs. To be honest, I can't answer that question. Hello! Welcome! How are you all today? Happy Monday. I hope you had a lovely Sunday. I really did. Uh, I really do. I really did. I hope you really did too. <laughs> um, I'm going to be bringing out videos now on my schedule. So every... my I'm going to meet up with the schedule now. We've kind of caught up with it. So my videos will now be Monday to Friday. So... Expect five videos this week because from now on I'm going to be having the weekend to myself. Even though I know I, knowing me, I will be getting things prepped and stuff on that weekend. But just so I can get a nice balance now. I've caught up with everything. Everything is, is perfect. So it's going to flow through this way. Now, nothing really changed from last time. I know that a few of you were asking me to get rid of the banister now that we've got the hedge there. So we've done that for you. That is the very good look. I do enjoy it. Um, I swapped out the doggy bed for a little outdoor couch down the bottom here. Um, I saw someone say that as well. Um, what else did we do? We moved that bloody fountain that I was trying to squash into the corner there. I know it was far too. And we put it up on the contemplation terrace. So she can come out and contemplate her all of her life's choices. Um, thank you so much for all of your stories from last time as well. I still haven't set on her perfect story just yet. I, maybe it will come organically today as we build. So I haven't got any comments to kind of pull up today. Um, but yeah, I've managed to put all the wallpapers and the flooring on that we're going to go for. As I said, I really want this light theme to be going through this house with lots of period features. But I want her to have a real kind of contemporary taste in uh, furniture. And I want to use some bright colours as well. I would imagine she would go for a bit of the bright colours and the paintings would be a bit more contemporary. And um, if we can get the majority of this done today, we might be able to, but we might be able to furnish a few rooms, leave a few, and then I'll come back tomorrow and we'll make a start on the basement. I'm really looking forward to doing the basement. So if you guys have got any ideas on what we should do down here, don't forget it's going to be like a nightclub. It's going to have a bar. It's going to have a dance floor. It's going to have a DJ set. It's going to have a stripper pole. Um, and obviously it's going to have these bedrooms. I'm putting in some toilets as well. But I'm thinking about doing like a little underground cinema down here as well. So they can go and watch triple X movies in there together and give each other hand shandies. Um, <laughs> I thought that would have been a lovely way. So that is what we're going to do. Welcome everybody. Let's get started, shall we? So I've put up these curtains. They were the pro probably the most minimal curtains that I could use in here. And I'm definitely going to keep them white. That might change if I start using it because I am going to be using a bit more brighter furniture. I need to get um, show hidden objects on because I was thinking about using some of the uh, uh, hidden furniture from the new eco pack. I thought that might have been a good look for today. As I said, contemporary. So why not? Now... I love the way that this is kind of offset here, the fireplace. So I definitely want to kind of make that moment sort of apparent in here with the furniture placement as well. Now, I'm not necessarily going to put a TV in here. That's why I wanted to do a cinema room downstairs as well. So she has got a form of media where she can get away and do whatever the hell she likes in it. Hand shandies all around, really. Um, I'm very relaxed today, so I might be a bit calmer than usual. I'm just, I'm still in my comfies. This is a really, like, soft jumper. Like, it's so soft. I've got my glasses on. I'm just, I'm just vibing, loves. And I'm here for it. I really am. Blue, however, is not because he's absolutely fuming. Because he knows that he should be, should have got walked by now. But I have not had time to give him his evening walk. But I'll do it as soon as I've finished recording this video. Anyway. Let's get some furniture flowing into this place. I was kind of, Oh, that looks quite nice in here. I know it's got the warmer wood, but because it's such a clean palette, you can... I could bring in some warmer wood tones. I really, really could. 
I was definitely thinking this sofa would be the nicest one to use in here. But then again, we can easily go through and have a look at the others that we've got as well, couldn't we? Even though we haven't got very many contemporary looking sofas. And the ones we do have, like... I'm sorry, but... I've, I don't, I've used it before, but in like a futuristic build. I just really don't like it. Does anybody use that? Because I definitely don't. This one would look good in here as well. It would. Not in that colour though. Green's cute, but it's got the gold in it. And we'd have to stop bringing in gold. And I'm just not about that life. I'm really not. I'm very much not. Um, uh, You guys as well that are fans of Anne with an E. Um, I finished the series now. I won't do any spoilers or anything, don't worry. Um, I finished the whole thing now. And I am absolutely fuming that it is not coming back to Netflix. <laughs> I can't believe it's left me on that. I was that fuming that I had to buy the full collection of the books. <laughs> so I've got the full collection of the books. It got delivered the other day. Um, yeah, I, I, oh God, I'm just in love with it. This is cute, but I wish that, like, I wish that was all over. I wish that hound's tooth, as you guys were saying. Um, I wish it was all over the sofa and not just on that little bit there, you know? We haven't even placed a bloody sofa down yet, have we? We've been here for far too long. We really have. Uh, I do I do think that is the sofa to go for. But this is really not. I love this sofa as well. I really do. And we could flop a bit of colour in here as well. I liked that green then. Oh, no, that's too grey. Too grey, my love. No, I think we will. I think we'll use this one. We said we're going to hit it with contemporary. Now... I want to get this in line. So that kind of like goes like that way. So this will leave us a walk space. So I could push this back really about that far. Which is perfect actually. I could. I don't think I'll get two sofas in here. I think I'll get a few armchairs. And then this area is going to be like an entertaining space. So I'm going to put a grand piano in the corner and stuff. I think that would be very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. Now do we use the armchair to match? That is the question. I don't think they... Oh, they got that one. No, I don't think we will. I think we'll put a pop of colour in with the armchair. Maybe not red. Red's not too bad, but maybe a different tone. I mean, yellow would look good. You know my feelings on yellow at the minute. I'm all for a bit of yellow at the minute. Oh, the green's nice as well. Oh, I think I like the green. Yes, I do. Right, I think we're going to do that. I'm going to do like one... Do we want to put two in here? I think we do. I'll put one by the window. Oh, I just remembered I cannot copy. I cannot copy them because they are a debug item. I I do hope that changes in the future. I'd love to be able to eye drop or at least copy the item that we've got out of debug. Especially if we've got the cheats on. Do you know what I mean? It's just a silly bum. It's just a silly bum. Not letting us, to be honest. Hmm. It's a cold. It's cold today in the UK. I don't know what it's like where you are, but today it's really like like rainy and cold so i think that's why i just wanted a nice cozy session today nothing too high energy just a nice chilled out relaxed session with my friends playing a bit of sims getting our tits out why not do you know what i mean it's a monday what is a monday if you cannot be at home with your tits out playing sims as far as i'm concerned and that is the mantra of today's part my loves that is the mantra Mm, do, did it come with any rugs? Did you come with any rugs? Oh, it did because we've got the uh, fabricating ones. Yeah. I love this, but I just wish this was in a different shape. I find it too long. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't fit square rooms very well and I'm not for it. Absolutely not for it. Oh, that one's a lovely rug. Oh, that kind of ties in those colours. Lovely from over there. Mm. Maybe I could keep the dark, like the living area free of a rug and put this one in the entertaining space. Or we could put it in there. Let's have a look. We'll try both. We'll try both. And why not, you know? You know? Oh, that's very nice. I do enjoy that. Yes. Yeah, I do like that. I think we'll do a nice bookshelf on either side here as well. Again, we'll stick with the contemporary looking bookshelves. Um... Uh, I don't want to use these. I'm not a fan of these. 
Uh, I know some people out there were like, this is amazing, but I just... Uh, it's not for me. I'll probably find a use for it down the line, but... No. Not for me, darling. Um, okay. Maybe I could use these in here. Or I could use this one on one side, like, say, here. We'll move the... Uh, sconces somewhere and then use the wall one on the other side now i'm going to test something because i did mention in my um my last kind of, when i did the trio like of rooms using the same pack or the trio of shipping containers i was hoping that we could put a book upon the surface of this shelf where we could then use it as a bookshelf oh we can okay great I thought it wasn't going to let me. Oh, then there's a snap point there as well. Well, then let's do that. We're going to obviously change the color of the shelves, but I'm just going to flop these in place. Well, there is two more shelves there, sweetie. You could go on it. You really could, but you don't want to, do you? You really don't. Well, isn't that just slap your tits fantastic? Hmm? Um, maybe I could tie in a bit more of that warmer wood over here. Oh, that's nice. That shadow is not, though, is it? Why is that shadow so shadowy? <laughs> That's a, that was great. That was very good, Aiden. Well done. Why is that shadowy so shadowy? We'll put a little candle on there. Maybe I'll put two. No, is there a snap point above? Absolutely not. No. No. So that one is a plant. That one is a plant there, I believe. Would look marvellous with a plant slapped upon it. I think that's going to be only, the only one that fits. So we're going to do it. Yeah, I'm for that. I am. Okay, so they can read in here now. Which is fantastic news. I'll plop that one on there. And then we said we were going to use the other one on here, weren't we? Hopefully, we'll get the matching tone. Because I can just imagine it wouldn't. Is that supposed to, supposed to be the matching tone? It's just the lighting? Or is that one? Who can say? Who can say? Pre-warning as well. If you hear a dog bork. I do have a delivery on its way. Oh my god. The shadows. The shadows on some of the Sims items. We need to stop that please Sims team. Just don't go full pelt in with the shadows. There's no need for it. At all. Literally no need. I'm going to have to hide the side of that around. Maybe just put it above the doors, just so it looks like it's got a wall space in there. Oh my god, that the shadow on that. I, it probably doesn't look like much on this, like OBS, but on my monitor, that shadow looks pitch black. It really does, and we're not for it. Um, maybe I'll tweak with my reshade settings. Give me one second. No, nope, I've turned all my reshade off, and it's still like it. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. I may actually. Plop a candle up there as well, just to help out with that situation. Do you not want to? No? Okay. In fact, let's do two down there and we'll put a plant up there as well. Um, She does love a candle. She does. She absolutely loves a candle. So I might just flop another one. <laughs> no, we'll get rid of that one down there. Have one up there. And then above it, I'm going to put a little portrait. A husband. Okay, I thought with the storyline. I know a few of you have been saying this, and I really like this idea. Um, I think her husband came out. I think he came out as a gay man at a very... Well, not very late. He just came out later in life. Um, and he didn't hurt. They're still really good friends. They are very, very good friends. Um, and they're still married. They're still married as well. Like, they'll always be lifetime friends. And they never saw any point of getting divorced or, you know, like just not being with each other in that sense anyway. Um, yeah, I would say that. Oh, that's not even against the wall. I didn't even know it was like that. Oh, so it goes up in a tier system. Oh, well, isn't that slap your tits fantastic? We're going to have that. We'll, we'll put up a photo frame on it instead. But yeah, that would be my idea with them is that they're still really good friends. I reckon um, her husband has got a partner. I reckon he is um, an out proud gay man now. I think he's living in Sulani somewhere on his private yacht. 
He's a billionaire. Um, no, he's not the same billionaire that we all know. He's on a yacht and he's run away with someone in particular that we all know. <laughs> but um, I reckon he has got a, a young man on his arm. Who's a nice guy as well. He is. People think that he's out chasing the older man because of his wealth. But surprisingly enough, he's not. He's actually really into him and he does adore him. And he looks after him. So, yeah, I think we'll go along that storyline for the husband. So they're still really good friends. Um, but they're just not together anymore. Um, and he obviously... She wasn't a kept woman. She still had her business and stuff. But the business in itself would not be able to afford a house like this. This house on the market, I would say, is not going to be that much. But how much is it worth now? It's worth 121,000 simoleons. We'll just say it's probably like a two to five million pound house. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. We're getting a bit deep now, aren't we? Aren't we, darlings? We're getting a bit deep. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Aiden, shut up. You said you were going to be calm today, not filth. There's a difference. I'm arguing with myself in front of people on the internet. And probably my neighbours because my window was open out there. <laughs> but oh well. Oh, why do I like that? Why did I like that there? Oh, I do. I actually like that there. It is cutting into the curtain somewhat there, but we can't help that. We can't be too fussy these days. We've just got to go along the lines of what The Sims will allow us to do. And that is that mantra. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that there. Oh, I do like it. And do you know what? I'm going to flop above it. I'm going to put that draft lamp, my loves. I am. You watch me. I'm going to flop that draft lamp. Where are you? I've gone right past all of the table lamps, haven't I? There she is. Look. We'll do you in a nice... What should... Can we flop... Colour over here. Oh, that colour looks lovely. Oh, yes. We'll do that. <gasps> Love the black element as well. So maybe uh, we could get a bit of more black element in here now. That's very pretty. I do enjoy that. Um, So I'm thinking with the sconces, maybe put them on this wall instead. I will put them at kind of a wider stance though. So we could maybe fit in a mirror. Hopefully. We should be able to. Yeah, yeah, that looks nice. Nice. Okay. Now, coffee table, I'm feeling contemporary. I can feel it in my... Honestly, I can feel it in my bones, a bit of contemporary coffee tableness, which is a little bit to come across in The Sims, isn't it? Especially when they're that big, you know? Especially when they're that big. Look at the size of that. <laughs> look at the size of that. I mean, this would look good in here. What colours do we can we change this for? Not very many is the answer. Oh, that one looks great. Yes, Queen. I think I'll put that detail this side though, so they can see that detail over to this side. Oh, I do enjoy that, you know. Yes. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh god, she's got some taste. She's got some taste as Ms. Higginbottom. She really has. Up here, a nice contemporary bit of art. Um, I do want to go... I'm going to put something up here that won't necessarily be staying here. Because I do want to um, download a few of the... They're not CC paintings. They're like paint by reference paintings. Um, And somebody's done like... The, the new art that we got with the eco pack, you know, the like canvases that are like up on the wall. Someone has like painted by reference them. Um, someone will let me know about that on Twitter. So maybe I could get that in at some point, even though that one does look great in here. It actually really does. We'll keep that there. We'll keep that in mind and we'll carry on. We'll carry on flittering through. So we're going to put a grand piano over here, aren't we? We are, Aiden, yes. So let's find that piano in question. Do we want a black piano in here? Or do we want a white? I bet there is someone out there going, white. And another person out there going, black. 
I do want to get a few more black elements in here, though. I know the white looked really good then. It did. I saw it. But I do want to get some darker elements in here. Just for the contrast between the whites. So I think I'm going to use the black. I very much am. Do you reckon I should face it around this way? Let's have a look. We need it to look classy in the corner. Maybe I can put it at that angle. And what I was thinking as well, I forgot to even say this. Maybe I should make the butler a live-in sim. So actually make the butler rather than having a butler kind of like hired to the lot. Maybe I could do a live-in but butler because then he could be part of the storyline a bit better. Let me know your thoughts and uh, on that one, my darlings. I'd be very interested to know. I really would. Um, in fact, I'm thinking maybe putting the piano there. Because then this would give me enough room then to put like one of those big dresses. I always forget what they're in. I think they're in surfaces. In misc surfaces? No. No, they're not. They're in shelves. <laughs> they're just in shelves, Agent. They really are. But we haven't really got a contemporary one. I mean, that... Oh, I've got that one's going to have the gold and the blues and the pinks and the blah, blah, blah. We cannot do that. We cannot have that one in amongst all of our lovely bits, can we? Um, what do you look like again? You're too homely, like homemade -y. You're not contemporary. Uh, oh, could use this over here. It's not a dresser, though. It's not what I had in mind. What I had in mind was a nice big dresser. Like, I wanted it that size. That's just not going to go with the aesthetic of everything in here. Oh, well, in fact, let me have a little think. I'm going to think about what doing this. Okay, so I thought the best thing to do here would be to use this um, bar from Get Famous. I would imagine this space being having like a drink selection over this side. Maybe with the uh, mirrored kind of trolleys that came with the vintage glamour stuff, this one. Do you know what I mean? I, I can imagine Barb being all up a Barb. I'm calling her Barb now. Eleanor, I'm sorry, okay? I would imagine Eleanor being... Oh, she loves a bit of... Loves a bit of plonk. Is Eleanor. Absolutely is 100% here for a bit of plonk. So, I think we'll do that. And maybe use that new uh, object from Eco Lifestyle as well. This one. Oh, that fits up there like a glove. Like a glove. <laughs> What's that from again? Ace Ventura. Answered it myself, so you do not need to tell me in the comments. Okay. And I'm going to maybe a big... A big plant up here like a big leafy plant oh yes oh maybe the new one actually i mean that's not the biggest and it i reckon it'd go darker as soon as i place it no it's okay still really dark though still very dark it looks fine on obs it's just my monitor it's very strange i think i need to brighten up my monitor maybe yes and maybe i would imagine we're putting a mirror over that side, but I would imagine a mirror up there of some description. I honestly would. We're going to go through the recent packs and see what mirrors we can come out with. They're not recent anymore. We've gone all the way down them. So let's just go into mirrors. That would be a lot easier. I should have done that beforehand. Oh, that I always use this mirror, but this mirror looks great in here. Really does. And I'm thinking about putting a... Slapping a couple of these sconces on either side. Just to bring it home. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. Yes. I'm thinking an armchair there. Do I want to use that same armchair? The green? Maybe not. Maybe use something else. But it definitely needs to tie in with what we've used. So maybe we'll have a little look. Oh, maybe I could use one of these. Ah, <gasps> Yes, queen. Oh, yes. Let's just pop, pop one. Maybe I could do two of them. Could I do two on this side? Let's have a look. Because I could like skadoodle it and then skadoodle it there as well. Can I? Oh, I do like that. That is tying in well. Oh, I'm moving the window. Yes, I do believe so. Oh, I like that area. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I'm here for it. Definitely here for that. Okay. I would imagine a lamp over here as well, like a big... Um, 
A big lamp. I don't think I'm going to use any of these. These ones are just a bit too chunky for in here. Maybe using these pillar ones. Because I love the light that these give off. They These give off some amazing light, these lamps. Yes, but I'm thinking about just changing the tone of the metal a little bit for maybe a gold. Yeah, that kind of accents in well with everything there. I did want to bring in some more black elements to this. I really did. Just, I just love the way that this is popping. That black over there. But so far, that's... It's coming across quite nicely, isn't it? Do you come in a black... A nice black... Uh, no, you do not, my love. What about... That? Let's have a look. No, I don't like that either. Definitely need some music in here. Oh, where are we going to put a stereo? There is nowhere to place a stereo now. I could fit one there. We need some more good-looking stereos, I think. I think the last good-looking one we got was with, well, it was this one. I want a small record player. I keep saying that. It would come in so bloody handy. I'm baffled as to why they haven't, like, put one in yet. I've used... Can you imagine how many times we've used the base game items over the years? Oh, Christ almighty. I bet it's a... I bet it's a large amount, I tell you. Now, I would like to size this down, but I know that the lighting, like the bulb light, glitches out on it. And it does look a little bit weird there. It does. It looks strange. Um, let me have a little think. Okay, whatever I was putting there, it just wasn't looking good. So I've just used the base game kind of gramophone looking one. And I've put it up on that shelf. Hope hopefully she can use it. I'm thinking a statue of some kind up here. Um, maybe something quite elegant. Maybe we could use the, hmm, no, I use that quite a lot. I'm on about the la lady, the female figure one, but I've, I use that quite a lot. And it might look a little bit weird in here. Not weird, but I just use it too much. Use it too much, the end. This, but I do like that object. I mean, this would look good in here, actually. I'm going to put it in here anyway. Oh, it looks lovely there, actually. Is that going into the wall? No. Let's just pull you out a bit further, love. Oh, I do like that. Oh, it's cut. Is that cutting into the piano? No, it's not. Yeah, I do like that in here. Oh, I do. I must admit. I bloody do. And then... What could be put up there? Something really fancy looking. Well, she made an appearance, didn't she? She's here and she's in a lovely dark colour. Like just getting in that black again. I like it. And it does look really nice up there. So I'm going to go for it. And it kind of lays respect to Eleanor's underground hobbies. Giggity, giggity, go. So we're going to use it. And it's going to be gorgeous. It really is. Um, I may be using that new object as well. I'm going to be using the new stuff to death. I will pre-warn you. Uh, let me just get that filtered. It's much easier this way. Doop to doop. There we go. Stunning. Um, I could get the darker aesthetic over to this side as well. I don't think it comes in a black there. In fact, I really prefer to the like that colour in here. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, I kind of like this space. I kind of like the space now. It's quite, it's, yeah, it's quite minimal, but I do enjoy that. I'm just thinking. I'm just going to try something. Just going to try a little thing just to see because it, I, it, it's it been in my head. And I've been like, what if I put that there instead? Oh, I kind of like that because we could use this now and put it like maybe like there. I think I prefer that. Yeah, I do. It just makes that space, like, it spreads that space around there a bit more. I'm enjoying that. We're going to do it. I don't know what the little T-Rex hand is that's coming out, but... We're here for it, aren't we? <laughs> Absolutely. So, this is going to be the dining area. Um, Again, I would say she's a good host. She's the hostess with the mostess. So, I would say she probably needs a big dining table. Quite a big dining table. Um, what could we use up here, though? 
because I don't, I still want to keep it contemporary. I mean, this one would fit in very well up here. Oh, it very much would, but I think we'll go for a lighter tone with it. Yes, and I'm thinking maybe using those chairs that I absolutely adore. Can we use this green? Do they go with that table? They don't really go with that table very well. I think the table needs to be more glass to fit those chairs in my head anyway. I use this one to death. So maybe I'll use a base game glass table. That would look really cool in here actually. Let's get the glass tables out and see which one we prefer. I mean, this one is very nice as well. <laughs> that one's got patterns all over it. So we're not we're going to ignore that one. I mean, that would look great. I'm good to make my own. That's what I'm going to do. I've decided. And I'm going to bring a bit more of that warmer wood out as well. So we're going to use that swatch, I think. Yes, we're going to make our own. Because that is iconic. We're going to cross those legs. So yeah, pasty don't flop out. Oh, I kind of like that. Let me get it in the middle though. So it's going to absolutely annoy me. The only problem is, is putting chairs on this. It just gets a little bit difficult when you overlap chairs. I mean, overlap tables and try and get chairs around. But what I could do... Look at that. I do like that. But I still think we could go a bit more contemporary without having to do that. You know? And I'm thinking this one. I am. I am thinking, and I'm thinking it's right. It's right to do it, so we're going to do it. Now, can we warm that wood up slightly? We can. Okay. Well, let's flop that into the middle. That's the middle, isn't it? It certainly is, Aiden. Yes, yes, yes. And then we're going to... I can't eye drop that chair, so we need to go back into the chairs and get them out. Like there's no tomorrow. And I'm still holding down shift, and I cannot do that. <laughs> let's get these going around. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's the look. That is the look, my loves. I do enjoy that. I do. I'm just hoping that that space is okay there. It's a bit squished. Just a little bit squished. I might just drag it back just a little bit. Hopefully, they'll still be able to use that. I mean, I could put an arch there, but I like that door in this house. I very much do. Very much do. Um, I'm thinking, could we? Let me just try something. Could we use that wallpaper with the big leafy print on it in here? Because I'm feeling, I don't know, a bit more extravagance with the wallpaper in question. I really am. Why is it not in wallpaper? Is it in paneling? Where are you? Um, hello? I'm going to bloody find you. There you are. There you are. Maybe not that one. I wish that... I wish that the bottom of that wasn't that colour. Oh. Oh, that's just popped in my head. Oh, I like that. Yes. Yes, I do like that. Probably people out there like, ugh. But no, I like it. We're going to hit some contemporary in here. And we're gonna, all going to get moist from it, I tell you. Here we are. We're doing it. We're doing it live. Okay, and we need to bring in some big plants into this place now. So I'm definitely going to be using that big old, um, like, palm leaf looking one like this. Well, it's not palm leaf, but banana leaf, would you call that? I don't know. I'm not a leaf expert. I'm sorry. Oh, damn you and your crappy bottom. <laughs> Just that sentence was funny. I'm sorry. Oh, look at the state of that bowl at the bottom. For goodness sake. What about if I do something with it? Not like that. There's nothing that's going to fit at the bottom there, is there? Oh, I really want to use that, though. What's the most... Um, minimal pot that you've got at the bottom. That one, but it's got red leaves. Oh, no, that one. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, that's better. That's better. 
It's not perfect, but it's better. Yeah, I do enjoy that. I do. Okay. And I'm thinking on this side, putting like a nice dresser. Like the Welsh dressers that we were trying to use. Um, it's quite a tight space. In the oh, God. Quite a tight space in here. But there is like a direct line through there. I think we do have to use an arch in here. And I really don't want to. I really don't. Or maybe I could use the arch on this side and put this door here instead. Now, I know that is still close to the back there. Mm, it doesn't really make sense doing that. Do you know what? Fuck it. We're just leaving it, leaving it like it was. It's fine. It looks great. Um, surfaces. Surfaces. So we're looking for some surfaces. Um, would this fit in here? I mean, it's not great. It's a lovely piece, a lovely bit of furniture, but it's just not the perfect fit for in here. I was like, when I was like playing around with stuff, I tried to use that there and it looked really good. But I don't think it's going to work in here. Hmm. Maybe I could do some vertical gardens in here. That could work. Let's try. Let's bloody try. But I think we'd have to go quite plain with the, yeah. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> I'm going to have a little think. Okay, so this is what I've came up with. I've used these mirrors from the Vintage Glamour stuff in like a, it's like a minty green. I think it just makes this room look bigger. And I use these like flower boxes, like ivy walls that came with the new eco pack. And just put some plants in there. And I just, I really like the look of this room. I very much do. Very much do. Wondering why that window looks so weird in the mirror. It's very bright white in the mirror. And then it's fine in game. It's very silly. Oh, and my table's disappeared. Oh, there he is. Why is, why does the table disappear? I have no idea. But I like that room now. So that's a nice dining room. Very contemporary. I do enjoy it. I think it's on to the kitchen area now, loves. So my thoughts with the kitchen area was having a big island um, as like a breakfast bar and then having a separate kitchen on the other side. So it's almost like a, so it's not really a workspace. Again, it's an entertainment space. She would have lots of people staying over. So she would whip up a good feast in the morning for everybody. I love that. And there's the little doggy conservatory. Lovely. Now I'm unsure... I'm going to sit on my legs, get bloody comfortable. I'm going to, I'm unsure of what kitchen to use yet. So we're going to play around with a few, I think. Obviously not from the new pack because we didn't get any, did we? No, we didn't. Still salty. Still very salty about that, to be honest. Um, It does need to be contemporary, but it could be down the point of like a shaker kitchen would look great in here. That swatch looks really good in here. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm, in, I'm here for it. I really am. So, let's get the grid on. We're going to be flopping you there. We're going to be putting an oven there. We'll flop you to there. Another corner moment there. Lovely. Um, I would definitely... I'd put the, the fridge on this side, I think. Yes. Okay. Right, let's get these corner moments coming in. Oh, this is, the, this is a good kitchen, actually, for this one. Nice black countertop and whatnot absolutely here for that i really am i am i don't know about you my loves but me i'm here for it i very much am and then we're gonna flop you to there and then put the other corner just there stunning oh yes queen oh ah oven wise modern needs to be black i think all the Appliances will be black in here. I just feel it would suit it. Yeah, we'll do that. And the fridge. Ah, oh, the fridge that comes with this has got that weird um, surrounding, isn't it? I mean, that looks good. We're obviously going to be moving the sconces, but I do enjoy that there. You okay, mate? Blue staring at me. Why aren't we going out yet? <laughs> we, we've usually gone out by now. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking. Could I maybe 
do two of these here instead of having one. Like, I just don't like it above the uh, oven. Oh, you know what? We bloody well can, I tell you. It's going to limit cupboard space, but we could do cupboards all along here. Right. Sconces definitely need to have a moment in here because it's going to be a, quite a dark room else. So what I may do is actually get rid of that. See what they look like in the shaker style. Oh, I forget it's the... It comes like that, doesn't it? Ugh. Colour. No, it's the lighting, but my lord. Maybe I could use them in black. Oh, they don't come in a black. Of course you don't. Don't be so silly, Aiden. Matching things. Don't be such a duft. Yeah, I think we'll do this. We'll plop a few to there. I could maybe put that up higher. No, I'm not. I'm gonna put it down that level. I really am. I plop that to there. Come back into here. Get the normal cupboards. I hate the cupboards in this. But we're still going to do it anyway. Let's see what you look like. Yeah, you look hideous there. So we're going to use one of you. To there. Um, Can I get like a... Can I get you in the corner there? No, don't want to. Even though you would be the perfect size to fit in there. You little shit. Oh, God. Well, maybe I will have to just jiffle this along. I could just put it there, couldn't I? Mm, I don't like that. No. I don't like that at all. I want this to end here. I just like how it ends on the side there. And I don't like how these would... Oh, that doesn't squash the window too badly. Okay. Well, maybe we could do this instead. Maybe I could plonk that one to there. And then put that corner moment in here. I oh, know that wouldn't stick there either. What are you thinking about, Aiden? For goodness sake. No. 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 Not working. Not working. I just hate those kitchen cupboards. I hate them. I very much do. I mean, you can't change the other cupboards either because they haven't really got the shaker style um handles have they we'll come back to that we'll come back to that we won't differ with that just yet now we need a big breakfast bar so hopefully this is going to work let's give it a little trial shall we so it was these ones it was in this tone as well i was thinking like a i don't know how big we're going to do this so let me just play around first see what we can get no i think we need to have this one in the middle with the corner edges like so one there one there now I maybe want to do it three thick thick so let's try that as well so if I can plonk you to there I do another corner there in the middle here I may have to um overlap something um, doo -doo -doo. um, no, that's going to be the one. Ah, oh, the texture on it's going to glitch out, though. I know that that will happen. I really hope that the kitchens in The Sims 5 are a lot better. I do. I really do. Oh, no, that was the right way. And then this one here. So we have got that gap there, but I can hide that. Oh, I do like that. Yeah, I do like that in the kitchen. It means that I'll hang a chandelier over it now. So we do need to get some more sconces in here because it's going to be very... Oh, in fact, I could have just moved that. Oh, that's fine there. But no, it makes that look offset. No, nope, no, nope, not having it. Not having it. I need things to be perfect or you're not invited at all. So maybe I could bring some of these over. How high are you up? You're up to default height. One, two there. And I could put one either side of the door. One there. One there. Oh, that looks cute. Yeah, I do enjoy that. I do. I do enjoy it. And then we can do one here. So yeah, I don't think we're going to be... Are these the same height they are? I don't think we're going to be... Uh, 
getting most of this finished today, to be honest. I'm looking at the time now and I'm like, hmm, Aiden, you've spent far too much time on a couple of rooms, haven't you? But the beauty in that, my loves, is that I'm going to be releasing videos every day. So you'd only have to wait a day until the next one, which is stunning. Um, I'm thinking about using these in the black. Let's have a look. No, they kind of just look like shadows of their former selves. What about this one? Oh, yes, that looks great. Or do we want to bring a pop of colour over here? These have a dark wood with a pop of something other than red. Pink. That's very pink. Very pink. Let me find the perfect pastel. Okay, so I've been away for quite a while just, like, deciding on what to do in here. We've decided to go... I tried to find a really nice contemporary coloured barstool i didn't try one so i may trial one now and just see if one would pop out the gray looks nice i know it's not a pop of color but that does look nice in here but i think we will go for the one that we've picked um which is from the university back i think or tiny living one of them tiny living i think it's nice i think it's a nice it just blends well with the actual tones going around in this kitchen. This place definitely needs to be well a bit better lit. I think I'm going to go through and maybe putting an extra couple of lights like in amongst these. We could do that now, actually. May as well, aren't we, darlings? Um, I also had a delivery when I was doing all of that. So we did. you didn't get to hear Blue's bork. You are missing out because he's got a lovely bork. He really has. And I know you've heard it before, but, but yes. Oh, that's better. Yes, and you can see what I've done over here with the cabinetry. Decided not to use cupboards. We've gone for shelves. And I've used this same shelf, but I've actually got rid of the one in here. And I'm going to do something with this. I haven't finished this yet. Uh, we'll do something with that. But I just thought that looked really nice in the kitchen. It's a nice kitchen shelf. Oh, I definitely prefer these lights in here. Brighter and cleaner. And a little less warm than the other ones. Um, Definitely need to do something up here as well. But I'm unsure what we're going to do there yet. I would take um, any kind of like advice from you guys. I do not mind, as always. Um, but I love the size of this. I love the scale of the breakfast bar. I hid that little slit with these little wheatgrass moments um, just in the middle. I thought that looked really cute. Um, what I'm probably going to do, we're going to make a start on the conservatory. And we'll finish the rest of this downstairs tomorrow. And then we'll go down and do the basement level as well. Because this part's going to be very long, else, my loves. It really is. Okay, so we've got four pooches. I would imagine that they've got their own bedroom as well, but they do need a day bed. They need a day bed. So we're going to do it like this way. Hopefully they should be able to still use this like this when they're next to each other. We will play a test it, obviously. We need enough room. Oh, saying that though, it's a sliding door, so it doesn't matter too much. So this is the feeding station as well. This is where the dogs get fed in their conservatory. Lovely. I love that idea. Yeah, maybe we could just put the four rows of food bowls up in the edge now. And maybe doing... Uh, oh, no, we won't give them the pre-feeder ones. Main reasons being, we've, we're going to get a living butler. We're going to get a living... We're going to make him as handsome as ever. We really are. He's going to be an absolute silver fox. And we're going to be here for it. And I will make him for tomorrow's episode as well. So you'll be able to see him tomorrow. Uh but yeah, we'll get some funny storylines going with them as well. Oh, yes. I can imagine them being very pleased with that. I very much can. Um, and if I put a little a little food mat down in a soft grey. Just just on the edge there. I wish they had water bowls as well. I'd love to see the dogs like slurp up some water. That's not going to work, is it? Maybe they do need to be centralised then. If I whiffle one that way it there and then the same of these so one there and you into the middle and then you into the middle with you a little bit i mean it's not perfect but you get the idea life isn't perfect is it it is not it's far from perfect you've just got to make do sometimes oh i do like that it's very cute and i would imagine some kind of like she would play some classical music into this room as well so the dogs can chill out with some classical music pumping through the sound systems <laughs> i would like like a flat built-in speaker that like would look like a light 
I would love that in The Sims. If you could do that, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my talk today. Yeah, she was pumping some classical tunes. And I would imagine a bit of greenery in here, but maybe on the windows. So maybe I'll do them up at a higher level on the window areas. Um, Are they too big for in here? I mean, I could size them down. And they have got that one, which would look great in here. Like one there. Have a look at that. Oh, yeah, I do like that. Would it be overkill if I did it everywhere, though? Let's have a look. We're going to trial it together. Um. Oh, it's the shadow glitch, though. Is that all the time? No, it's not. Oh, I kind of like that. I don't know if I'm going to do it on all windows, though. So I might just do, like... I might just spread them out and put them in, like, the central, like, those positions. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I do like that. I very much do. I do indeed. And I think oh, we'll get that big dog painting. Where is that dog painting? You know what one I mean when they're all sat around playing poker. I know you're here somewhere. I do. I just don't know where you are. Did it come with cats and dogs? I, th I think it might have. Yeah, this one. Oh, yes, queen. I'm here for that. I really might in that size as well. I want it to be a big ass dog painting in the dog conservatory because it's only fair for the doggos, isn't it? it? Really much is. Really much is, is the English I decided to go for for that. <laughs> I mean, those are at wonky heights. Now, what's your default height there? Okay. There we go. Oh, yes, Queen. I'm thinking a little plant in this corner would look lovely. Um, Maybe, actually, using... Oh, I always forget the bloody lighting on this one, though. <sighs> oh, it is a bit too spread-eagled for in here, actually. I think it needs to be something a little bit smaller. Yeah, maybe you. Yeah, I think that's a substantial plant for in here. Oh, that's cute. I hope they will be able to use this all. I'm hoping. We will definitely play a test it. But I think this is where we'll leave it for today, my loves. So we've managed to get a little bit done today. We've managed to get most of the ground floor done. Obviously, there's no details in or anywhere or appliances or shelves on this side. I'll probably get that done for tomorrow so you guys can just check it out when I've finished it. Um, I'm loving the dining room. I think the dining room's my favorite. I just like the styling of it. Um, the living room's cute as well, I, I must admit. I must admit, I do love the living room. This needs work, but we'll sort that for tomorrow, so don't you worry. But I'm going to leave you now because I've got a beautiful doggo to go and walk. Um, out in the rain, most probably, so I need a jacket, won't I? I will. So yeah, tomorrow we'll be back. We will be doing the basement of debauchery. Um, finishing up the rest of the ground floor level as well, I think. Uh, but yeah, very much. Not very much uh, looking forward to it. I am. Thank you guys for coming today. I appreciate your faces as always. Leave me some lovely comments below and I will answer them as I get to them. Um, you're amazing and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.